Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me C1 Eso here in Farming Simulator 19. It is day five of summer and it's not raining, which means we can actually do the harvesting that I was <laughs> about to do yesterday until the rain literally started as I drove to the field. So um, yeah, I get to do the harvest today. I think that's swath dropping. We'll soon find out. I want to do straw because I do want bales. I do want straw bales. And that is swath dropping. Excellent. So yeah, using the case combine, the 7240. It's not the most... I've leased it. I leased it. And that reminds me, I still need to remember to turn off the... Um, store deliveries spawning stuff at the farm mod <laughs> or at least resetting it back to the uh, store it was all right for leasing the the harvester but then i remembered i did i forgot when i drove up to the store to pick up my little trailer my bale trailer that i'd got um it on so i drove all the way up to the store to pick up a bale trailer and the store delivered it to the farm so I had to drive all the way back <laughs> I don't mind the store deliveries mod though because at least it charges you for the stuff that's delivered to the farm you do pay a delivery fee which is obviously a little bit more realistic than stuff just randomly appearing at your farm but yeah it's early morning day five of summer i thought i'd make an early start today because the rain kind of ruined everything yesterday there wasn't a lot to do yesterday as well which made it even more frustrating um the only thing i did do off camera and um, for full disclosure for people following the series the only thing i have done is um, because the grass field was growing i fertilized the grass field that's all I've done off camera that you haven't seen <laughs> I just went up there sprayed some liquid fertilizer on the grass so the next time we mow which will probably be the final time in this first year we might get a third mowing from the from this map in this geo but um We'll be able to hopefully get a full, full proper yield and then we can really see how many bales we actually get to make and produce. my lovely little grain trailer which at this point i'm probably going to unload into while i'm here because that looks that harvest is looking pretty pretty full to me um, and i'm guessing how full it is because obviously i haven't got the hood on <laughs> so i can't see the fill levels uh, or anything i'm playing this pretty blind I don't think it tells me the fill level in here anywhere. It's a nice looking harvester though, I must admit. Nice little machine in this case. I honestly wasn't, the, when I started this series, it wasn't the way I actually envisioned myself going. I kind of had ideas of using other equipment. But then obviously, in the comment section, on some of the other videos we started to discuss the fact that i haven't really used case equipment in the game on any of my previous other series so i've kind of gone down the case road at the minute that doesn't mean i won't necessarily switch as dolores gets richer and start to get some of the equipment that i originally planned on getting which was going to be 
of a green nature. Uh, we may end up sticking with red machines, or may add, I may, I may throw some green machines in at some point for the fans of green machines that are out there. There's a couple that I did want to use in the series. Yeah, our first wheat harvest. Very nice. Just spread the straw out so you don't get a great big massive pile at the edge of the field. It looks like I can go up and down the field once and then I need to empty, which is not bad. Not bad. Obviously, we've got the um, corn harvest to do after this as well. Or I don't know whether to maybe collect the straw first, bale the straw first, and then do the um, sunflower, uh, uh, sunflowers or corn, whichever one it is over there. look at the field I think well, I'm the first person harvesting I don't none of the other farmers have got harvest contracts yet none of their fields have reached this point so I've got I've got a bit of a jump on the other farmers which means hopefully when I come to sell my crop some of my crop be able to make some money this first year because if I can beat them to the punch they're not going to mess up the prices are they but the problem is of course seasons because <laughs> when is the best time of year to sell wheat when is that not till day three of winter or day four of winter apparently I'm going to guess at that point, most of the farmers on the map will have done their harvesting by then. So actually, we're all going to be selling at the same time. Season stops you taking, taking advantage of the other farmers being a bit behind. In the vanilla game, because they're not harvesting, you get to take advantage of the good prices. Where Seasons kind of levels the playing field. It doesn't matter if a farmer's a couple of weeks late. He's not going to miss out because he get, still gets to sell the crop at the same time as everybody else. Kind of doesn't really reward the farmers that get up and do the job early. You know. It kind of rewards the lazy farmers. <laughs> but hey, we've got our wheat. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some harvest contracts this year because I made that mistake with the canola. The fact that that's not going to be harvested possibly in year one. Um, so I'm going to have to get some additional crops from doing as payment for doing some of the other work for work for some of the other farmers so i'm probably going to keep this machine now for the rest of the season i'm going to keep it on loan on lease
it wouldn't make a lot of sense for me to um, return it because it's cost me so much to hire it. That is one thing Seasons does do a little bit differently from the vanilla game. Seasons does make it so that if you're leasing equipment for the short term, like just you, you're borrowing something just to do one job very quickly, that's not going to be very cost effective for you. That's actually going to be very, very bad. Yeah, if you borrow something and you lease it for a long period of time, like you lease it for a whole year, it tends to work out cheaper with Seasons. So Seasons is a little bit more realistic like that. Long-term leasing is more cost effective than short term. are on. The blinkers are on. That means I'm nearly full. I'm at about 90% at that point. So you can do two and a bit rows. Um, two and a bit rows. Two and a bit rows of wheat, because of course wheat is obviously going to yield much more differently than, say, sunflowers or corn or soybeans or whatever. Looking good, though. Harvesting, harvesting. <laughs> We're harvesting, harvesting. I was even considering the idea, possibly, if I have enough money, or if I had enough money, and there might be a case of maybe get a loan. I was actually thinking, toying with the idea of buying a field, buying another field, um, because obviously the canola situation, buying a field that has been planted and seeded and is growing, that I might be able to use for my own purposes. Oh, uh, looking at the field, what have we got? Uh, it's probably going to be field sort of nine and ten ish. So that's one field. That's going to cost me a million. That's going to cost me a million. Field 20 is going to cost me 690,000. There's a couple of little fields down here with stuff planted on them, but I think they're going to cost me a lot of money. That's going to cost, that's not going to, see, 16 is not going to cost a lot, and that's got wheat on it. Hmm. Hmm. Potentially, there is a argument to be made then for buying field 16. <laughs> because we could potentially harvest that. Right. Hop out of there, grab my grain trailer. I'm going to put this in the silo for the time being. Because I don't actually know how much we've got off this field. This this trailer holds, what, 30,000 litres? Um, or whatever it holds. Hmm. 
45, 45,000 litres. Okay. Forty-five thousand liters. Uh. I'm trying to work out in my brain, my limited brain capacity, how much of that forty-five thousand liters I want to sell, and how much of it I want to keep. But perhaps I should wait just a little bit. Um, because obviously if I'm going to do contracts and I'm going to get some additional, I'm going to get some crop as payment for doing the contracts. If I do any wheat harvesting, I might as well save all the wheat up. Then in the winter, see how much wheat I've actually got. Bearing in mind, I need to keep some back for feeding chickens. Um, so basically, I got like just I got fifty, fifty-two thousand and fifty-three liters of wheat off of that field. Bad, bad. So if I said straight away, 25,000 litres of that can go to market, 25,000 litres of that can stay at the farm for my own use, then we're probably not doing too bad, are we? Right, I'm going to park this trailer over here. And then I'm going to go grab the baler quickly. Because I'm going to bale the straw. Patch that there for a second. There's my lovely grass field look. All fertilised and growing nicely. We'll, we'll get some more, um, we'll get some good mowing off of that again before the end of the year. Bailing time. So we're going to get a grass bale out first. Is unfortunate. That will have to go into the um, bale shredder. It will. But then all the other bales should be straw at that point. Again, what I could do, save half the straw bales for future use and sell off half of them just to make me some extra money again this first year when, you know, things are bad because you don't have a lot. need to keep an eye on how many bales we get because we may sell some raw bales but hey first year first field harvested done milestone reached Day five of summer, we've done our first harvest on the Lakeland Vale map. Dolores is 
a su success already. <laughs> you know, we've we've grown, we planted a crop, we've raised it, we've harvested it. Victory. And then obviously we need to get this field turned around fairly quickly. So we need to get it fertilised, we need to get it cultivated. Uh, we then need to get it seeded with something else, reseeded. Then we need to get it and then obviously once it starts growing get it fertilised again. Make sure it's weeded. The whole system starts again. So it all goes a bit crazy again at, at this point in time. Straight after har harvest and the immediate aftermath of harvest, the field is crazy, the work is crazy. And obviously in the spring, everything's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting the straw bales done. I haven't used the um, straw harvest add-on stuff yet. Make um, bales and stuff. I think purely for the simple reason that right now I don't trust that DLC. Not to mess the game up. <laughs> and also I don't think there's enough support for the, the straw add-on DLC yet. In terms of other mods. Like my trailers, there's only one, there's only the Lizard 51 foot trailer that will auto load the, um, the bales that the Straw Harvest DLC makes. Um, there's also, again, not a lot of sell points that will buy the stuff that the Straw Harvest DLC makes. Stevie did make a post on his Facebook page, uh, the other day that the reason you can't sell any of that stuff on this map is because he never included it as a fill type. Um, and the be his, his best recommendation for people who want to sell the Straw Harvest DLC on this map is to download some placeables, placeable sell points, some, some of the mods, which probably will be updated much faster and quicker. You support um, selling of those items. I mean, the Straw Harvest DLC does come with some sell points for... selling um, the straw stuff the haste stuff and that so just buy a few of them and stick them on your map <laughs> at various places if you want a bit of variety I think they're in the um, store I think they appear under miscellaneous don't they yeah pallet sell point selling your pallets of whatever you've even if you're on pc you've even got the heat plant mod as well which is a bonus downloadable that you can get by scanning a qr code and downloading um all right so i may have to go get me bail collector now then <laughs> Help if I um, store this in the right place. Right, down towards the uh, cow barn then.
because we want the um, the bile collector. I am thinking as well of adding a third tractor to the farm, uh, buying another tractor. Because at the minute we've only got the two, we've got the little one, and then we've got this one. I'm thinking of buying one that's in the middle. Buying one in the sort of the 300 horsepower range. And I think the case Optum fits the bill for that. Um, if I'm sticking with case tractors, that is. I can get it with skinny wheels as well if I need to do any um, like field care work. Any fertilising, anything like that, without risking damaging crops. It'll just give me a little bit of an alternative to having to use the big magnum all the time, especially for jobs like this where it's not really needed to use a you know 450 horsepower tractor for um, collecting bales. How many did we make? Let's have a quick look. 27. So we've actually got 26 bales of straw. So the quick math on that is if I'm keeping half and selling half, that means I've got 13 bales to sell. So 13 bales. I should be able to collect all these bales in two loads, really. This holds 16 bales. I've only got 27 to collect. <laughs> and in fact, actually... I've got that one odd one, which I'll pick up with a little tractor, I think. Because he's got the front attacher on anyway, already. He's got my little front loader on. Because I use that to counterbalance the fertiliser machine. So the little tractor doesn't need a weight. i just got to remember to keep the front loader on it. <laughs> At all times. I'll tell you what, we're burning through the fuel again. Under half a tank left. This thing's gonna, guy's going to need a refill soon. I have to get the service trailer out. I 
I'll tell you what, when I get the service trailer out, I'm probably going to swap the hitch back over on this tractor. I'm going to swap it back to the standard hitch um, right from the quick hitch. This is still the, the, the modded version of the Case Magnum, which still has, like I say, it has had reports that it's got some problems with the rear attachers and the, um, the PTOs on it, so... We'll see how it goes, and if I need to get rid of it and just buy the regular version of the Magnum, the Giants version, so be it. Oh, it helps if you fold that down, by the way. <laughs> I'm wondering, I was kind of wondering why I couldn't fold up the, um, why I've got why it was in the uh, operating position because I hadn't lowered it good job there's no overhanging wires or anything no telegraph wires or anything for me to get snagged on on this map shove just to line it up with my collector so I'm not going to pick up the grass bale with this obviously there's no point because the grass bale's got to go into the shredder then it can go into the hay dryer I could wrap it single grass bale i could wrap it to make a single silage bale but really there's not much point i might as well just have the grass <laughs> honestly if it wasn't if i hadn't fed the sheep today given them a bit of a, um, a fill up which i did just before i started recording i could have just chucked the grass bale into them and let them eat it <laughs> So let's have a look. What is when is the best time of year to sell straw typically? Straw on here. Right about now, otherwise the price really does nosedive. Um, Is that so where is the best where is the place selling the straw or buying the straw? Animal supplies or farm barn. The only problem is, and I hate this with seasons, I really do hate this. It doesn't tell you the it doesn't show you the price. Mm. because obviously they, they you can't sell it loose you can only sell it in bales and unfortunately the game menu isn't set up to actually show you the price of bales but you can never see how much your bales are going to sell for uh, anyway we'll just risk it we'll drive up to the animal dealer with these and um, we'll see what they pay me. Also, I've noticed and I hope this is something that they can hopefully one day maybe fix or something. Possibly. Or whether there's a way they can implement it. 
um, the global market mod of selling to actual like real players. Um, right now, there's no way in game to see pricing for that. See, you know what the demand is on certain items. So it's a bit of a lottery when it comes to selling stuff. I'm going to guess that these need to be delivered onto here. thousand nine hundred and twenty eight dollars really really seasons that's that's the price the straw bales the ten straw bales I got five thousand bucks that's like five hundred dollars a bale. Hmm. We might not be selling too many bales in this series, I think. But anyway, we have reached the end of today's episode. I'm sorry, folks. Um, time is up sadly against us. This video has already got a little bit too long. I will be back with another episode very soon where we will be doing the corn harvesting um, I look forward to seeing you again then if you could be so kind as to drop a like on the video for me that would be great if you could uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so leave your comments in the section below and of course feel free to share this video wherever you see fit with whomever you see fit I've been C1ESO thanks for watching goodbye for now